Hi everyone, this is Mariam Saya from Asian Council of Science Editors. Um, firstly, I would like to appreciate the efforts of Steering Committee of Peer Review Week 2021 for conducting such an informative survey and finalizing a very uh, important parameter influencing peer review as this year's theme. Like every year, Asian Council of Science Editor has engaged its board of director, associated industry experts, and members, and ambassadors into scholarly conversation around the theme of peer review week through webinar, um, ACAC blog, and uh, other discussion forums to gain their suggestions and different diversified um, reviews and opinions. Well, yes, we are going to talk about identity this year. I must say that this is one of the most important yet ignored parameter in peer review process. And thanks to the uh, steering committee for bringing it to the discussion table today. In publishing process, peer review has always been under threat. And it's natural that the most yielding trade are the most threatened one too. It's true and very much practical that compromising any part of peer review process affects the credibility and uh, of scientific knowledge, either directly or indirectly. Focusing the theme of uh, this year's peer review week identity, it can be of gender, positional, um, geographical, color, or much more that plays a great role in the outcome of a review. In my opinion, Identity itself does not contribute positively in peer review process. When I get to know about uh, the, this year's theme of peer review week, uh, I did a minor research on the current peer review process and especially the open peer review operations by different journals and its associated reviewers and their comments and their procedures. And what was most surprising for me that majority of the reviewers were male a very few were from the third world countries and um, there was um, a geographical discrimination among a contribution of research work too. So it confirms that yes, identity does influence the peer review process by its multifactor nature. Now, just as an example, I would like to share with you if if, for an instance, we change the authorship of a manuscript submitted by a well-reputed or highly ranked institute by some uh, third world country's authorship, the perception, reaction, response, even the priority of the editor changes. And I'm not saying it out of the blue, but out of my professional experience or role as editor too. So I think there is a need uh, of developing such databases where even the editor does not know the identity of an author to avoid editor's bias. As science, knowledge, research, it's never been superior, inferior, white, black, male, female, developed, underdeveloped. It is an independent uh, parameter. So it should be reviewed independent of all sort of biasness from author to editor to peer reviewers. It's always been said that do not, do not judge a book by its cover. So it is necessary when it comes to peer review to look otherwise in order to make it more diverse, equitable, and inclusive. Also, um, as review, peer review is a thankless job, we must look for options of credibility to induce a reviewer's interest to review and ensure quality and transparency in research and review. Also encouraging options of uh, credibility that really matters can be a positive, constructive antinode to deal with the rising issues of different variants of identities in peer review process. Thank you.